well as the sun just peeks over the horizon and ends another day. It looks like uh, another summer is gone and uh, all the boys of summer <coughs> are gone. Uh, we read in Jeremiah 8, I believe uh, 8.20, talks about um, the harvest is finished, the summer is gone and uh, it's asking is there anyone been saved or we have not been saved I think that's it I'll post the scripture below but there's the fairground and all the, the rides and the caravans seem to have went for another year just just some of the old rides just, just uh, been kept over I guess they may open them at weekends I'm not really sure if it's finished for the year but, uh, well, I wonder how many gospel tracts were handed out at that fairground this year. I wonder how many people tried to reach others for the sake of the gospel and spoke to them about Jesus Christ. Um, quite amazing. Decided just to come out here and hit some, hit some balls. And... Uh, when I think about I think about YouTube Christians, I think about all the people that are on it, and uh, you know, guys seeing Jesus in Italian suits, and, and if anybody makes a fool of them and says you're crazy, you know, they'll shoot their head off. You know what I'm saying? I saw Jesus. He was wearing an Italian suit. You know, I saw him. I knew it was him. What is that about? I mean, please God. I mean. Yeshua, Yeshua actually wore tassels um, when he was walking the earth, okay? He was wearing the fringes, the tzitzits, because it says that when the woman with the issue of blood was, um, knew there was a kosher rabbi in the area, namely Yeshua, not a scholar of course, not like the, the scribes, but he was still a kosher rabbi, he was still from um, a line of Judah and uh, he was a Jew a lot of people forget that and uh, basically Yeshua wore probably white and blue clothes overall with tzitz at each corner uh, as you probably see you know some uh, Mexicans wear the uh, overalls okay and uh, that thing when he was on the earth, but of course, the clothes that he wear now, I mean, he, the, the clothes that he has now is uh, well well beyond anything of this world, okay? So if you can imagine the greatest Italian suit, the greatest the greatest clothes that we have, okay? <laughs> this ground is very wet today. Uh, then it's nothing compared to the clothes that um, the angels wear, or that Yeshua actually has, okay? So don't doubt for a second, please. I mean, there's a lot of not cases on YouTube, okay? I'm not, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm not saying like, oh, you gotta listen to me, okay? All I'm telling you is basically what the Word of God says, and basically what the Lord has shown me. And uh, who's to say that they haven't actually seen the Lord this year? Uh, well, they're not physically, but in some way. Um, the apostles say, blessed are those that have not seen Yeshua, yet believe in him. Okay? That's what the Bible says. Never mind going around saying, I saw this guy, he looked like an Italian guy, he was really smart, and he said, I just knew that he was Jesus. I mean, he could have been Jesus, but what is that about? So anyhow, I'm getting back to my golf. Believe it or not, I can probably just about hit that guy with the red hat on. Which is down at the uh, pole there. I'm using a pitching wedge. That's about 100, and I would say about 180 yards. 170 yards. So I could probably get about, could almost make it to that if I hit it quite well. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.